Would you have sex in an MRI scanner for science? Yes, scientists and volunteers engage in sexual intercourse inside an MRI scanner. But why? And what did they find out? Stick to the end to find out. Historically, the anatomy of sexual intercourse has been shrouded in mystery and speculation. From Leonardo da Vinci's attempts to depict internal anatomy during sex, through to modern scientists using early mechanical studies, uncovering these secrets has been a quest filled with both curiosity and controversy. Now, modern use of MRI offers a more precise and detailed understanding of sexual anatomy and function. Initially, using MRI to study sexual intercourse was met with skepticism due to the private nature of sexuality and the technical challenges involved in having sex inside a narrow cylinder. Despite these hurdles, recent studies have embraced MRI technology to gain unprecedented insights. Advances in neuroimaging have allowed researchers to observe the physiological changes during sexual arousal and intercourse in real time. Studies have moved beyond just physical observations to examining brain activity and connectivity, shedding light on the neurological underpinnings of sexual response. This evolution in research methodology signifies a growing recognition of the complexity of sexual physiology and the crucial role of imaging in unravelling it. The groundbreaking study conducted at a university hospital in the Netherlands marked a turning point in sexual medicine. Utilising MRI, researchers were able to visualise the male and female genitals during coitus, revealing previously unknown details about sexual anatomy. For instance, they discovered that the erect human penis is much bigger than previously thought, with the authors describing it as, quote, enormous. But why? Where was the rest of the penis hiding? A third of the erect penis, called the root of the penis, is under the skin, and it allows the penis to take a different angle, with the scientists observing that the penis assumes a boomerang shape during intercourse in the missionary position, challenging long-standing assumptions that the penis was a straight line. This study also provided new insights into the changes in female genital anatomy during sexual arousal such as the lengthening of the anterior vaginal wall and the upward movement of the uterus. They also disproved previous assumptions about the female anatomy, such as the idea that the uterus grows in size during sex. These findings were instrumental in moving the field beyond speculative models to a more evidence-based understanding of sexual intercourse. Conducting MRI studies of sexual intercourse presented unique challenges. The researchers had to navigate technical limitations, ethical considerations, and societal taboos. Recruiting volunteer couples and ensuring their comfort during the intimate act in an MRI scanner was a significant hurdle. Interestingly, the male participants had significant problems performing inside the scanner, and all but one man needed Viagra to maintain his erection. The authors noted that all the women orgasmed, but said that these weren't satisfying orgasms. Despite these challenges, the study successfully captured detailed images, offering a new perspective on human sexual anatomy. This success set the stage for future research to build upon these findings, further advancing our understanding of sexual physiology. Recent advancements in MRI technology have enabled more detailed studies of the sexual response. For instance, MRI has been used to map the spread of contraceptive gel during intercourse, providing valuable insights into the effectiveness of intravaginal medications. MRI studies have been critical for better understanding female sexual anatomy, allowing a detailed study of the clitoris, revealing its complete anatomy and size, providing a new perspective on female sexuality. Functional MRI studies have explored brain activity during sexual arousal, revealing different patterns of activation in men and women and offering potential biomarkers for sexual dysfunctions and what happens in the brains of paedophiles. These new imaging techniques are also being used to study love itself and how romantic attachments form and dissolve in healthy people and those with mental illness. This newer research underscores the complexity of the sexual response, highlighting both the physical and neurological components involved. These studies represent a significant leap forward in our ability to understand and address sexual health issues. The implications of MRI studies in sexual medicine are broad and significant. They extend beyond academic research, influencing practical applications in sexual health and dysfunction treatment. For example, the MRI's ability to track the spread of contraceptive gels during intercourse has implications for developing more effective contraceptive methods. Additionally, the insights into brain activation patterns during sexual arousal could lead to better diagnostic tools and treatments for sexual dysfunctions, as they offer a deeper understanding of the neurological underpinnings of sexual response. Beyond individual sexual health, these studies also contribute to our understanding of sex differences in brain anatomy and function. Recent neuroimaging studies have provided valuable data on male-female differences in brain development and structure, 
shedding light on illnesses that differ between sexes, and informing more effective interventions. This research is crucial for developing a nuanced understanding of sexual health, emphasising the importance of considering both anatomical and functional aspects in medical and psychological treatments. As MRI technology continues to advance, it holds the potential to further unravel the complexities of human sexuality and improve health outcomes. To learn more and improve your health, watch this next.